would like to know a little bit about Karen Cooper. I don't like to be told what to do. <laughs> I'm a proud Virginia flagger, and we are at Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. I grew up in New York. I was a member of the Nation of Islam in New York. You know, the Nation of Islam thinks, you know, races should be separate, you know, black and white and stuff like that. And then I came down here and we were more together and I just realized, I was like, well, that can't be right because there's a lot of nice white folks. I mean, people wave to me that I, I've never known. The North, they claim that they like black people and they care about black people, but it is so segregated, it's not funny. I felt more welcomed in the South. I believe in a very limited, very small government. I joined the Tea Party because I actually wanted to tell people that the federal government shouldn't be doing all of this stuff that they're doing. You know, um, you are not to control every aspect of our life. And so um, on Facebook, I started meeting, you know, my friends who was in the Tea Party, they were mostly, you know, they had Confederate ancestors. Then I met this lady, Susan Hathaway, and she started flagging. And I said, well, I should go out there and flag with her because one, I support, you know, Confederate history, and two, it's a great way to show my freedom of speech. It's my right to be able to be out there in public with the battle flag, you know? So that's why I did it. I know what people think about when they see the battle flag, you know? All they think is KKK and we hate black people, um, you know, or we want to bring slavery back. So I knew it was going to be something for people to see a black woman with the battle flag. Actually, most people don't even stop to talk to me because I think they in such shock to see me out there with the battle flag. I don't even think they don't have the nerve to even ask why I'm out there. You know, I'm not advocating slavery or think that, you know, it was right. Um, it wasn't and none of my friends. Um, think it was. It was just something that happened and it just didn't happen in the South. It happened worldwide. I've said this before and people don't think it's horrible, but I believe slavery is a choice. And I say that because of what Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death. To me, you know, if we ever went back to that kind of slavery, no, I couldn't do it. Give me death. I feel I'm a slave now because the federal government does control me. I can't smoke what I want to smoke. I can't drink what I want to drink. If I want to put something into my body, it's my body, not theirs. So what gives them the right to tell me what I should do? That's tyranny. But yet and still, it's only the Southerners and it's only the battle flag that has all the weight and the guilt on it. And it's not right. It's not right. I actually think that it represents freedom. It represents a people who stood up to tyranny. And by me being out there, I hope that you would see this is not racist. I mean, how can it be racist if I'm out there with them? I'm talking with them, I'm hugging them, you know, I'm conversing them. These are my best friends that I'm out here with. What I hope to change or to accomplish is just to, um, I don't know, wake a few people's minds up and s stop believing that that's, that flag is about race. I want them to stop thinking that, you know, but, you know, that's up to them. In the end, I just, I'm just doing it for me. It makes me feel good. Right? That's why I put myself out there.